Hey guys, Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. So today is Sunday, March 19th, and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me today. Um, I won't show everything, but I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. It will not be five minutes, it's gonna be longer. But in yesterday's video, I briefly mentioned that I no longer use my daily planner, like where I write everything out, that I've been using Google Tab and Google Cal. And I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of like why I made that switch. So let me flip my camera around and show you what's going on for today. Okay, so I actually had to turn the light off so that you guys could see this. So today is March 19th and you can see here, here are my tasks for today. I like Google Tasks because it puts everything at the top of the calendar um, so that it doesn't bleed like all the way into your day. So some of these actually repeat like every day or every week. And like once I put them in, they just pop up. Like for instance, I promise you guys that I would film, edit, and upload every day for the next week. So I was able to set this task so that it just pops up automatically each day. And like, I don't have to keep rewriting it over and over again. You guys know I aim to get 10,000 steps per day. So I just love that it pops up each day. And then when I complete it, I just hit um, complete. I'll show you guys like later, like as I complete each task, it just crosses it out. Like I love that so much. So anyways, today we need to get 10,000 steps. We need to bathe the dog, call my patient, charge my watch. I actually have to put things like charge my watch because I am one of those people that forget. Like honestly, my husband charges my phone every night. It's just, it's bad. Um, Charge my Garmin, charge the work, my work tablet, clean my car, clean my office, clean out the refrigerator, clean, reorganize my work bag, film, edit, upload, grocery run, journal, which I can cross that out because I did that this morning, which is why I'm in such a better headspace. Laundry, meal prep, update my wellness planner, walk Ramsey, and wash Ramsey's linen. I try to wash the dog's linen every week whenever I bathe the dog. So, but and these like pop up automatically so I don't have to keep reminding myself to do those. And also the other features too with Google Calendar is that I also have it on my phone, which is really nice as well. Um, So for instance, if I go to today here on my phone, so like let's say if I was out and about, I could just pull up my phone and all of the tasks are here as well well which is so helpful and I don't have to carry like my planner with me at all times and then what I was finding was that whenever I would be on vacation sometimes it was hard to like because I like to just take one bag <laughs> one personal bag and to make room for my planner was starting to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a nuance and then the other thing too is that if I need to go back and like remember like for instance um this past week I took um my daughter and I both went to go get oil changes for our car so like if I need to put in like oil change and do a quick search then the date that I did that would automatically pop up versus like in a paper planner you gotta go looking for it. So I don't know, I love it, it's working for me and I'm gonna continue to do it. So anyways, today we're gonna go through, you guys, my house is a wreck, I was not kidding, let me show you. Like it is so bad. And I also have like three loads of laundry to fold. I will give my husband credit in that he started this a long time ago where the kids do their own laundry. So it's not even like I'm folding anyone else's laundry. I'm folding my own laundry, but I have three loads. I've been living out of laundry baskets. So let's just get to it. Let's start going through this list and checking stuff off. You can see here, I'm currently uploading today's video. When I upload from my house, it takes so long. Oh my gosh, so long, 45 minutes left. So I guess I should probably start with going to get dressed and I do need to bathe. Look at you. Somebody needs a bath, you need a bath. Yes you do, you need a bath. Okay, so first things first, let's start with this refrigerator. Oh my gosh, it is so bad. But in order to get new food, I need to go through and see what we got going on. So here is my semi-clean, clean enough refrigerator to start the week out. Okay, so I am currently placing an order for delivery. I thought I would just go out and get it, but listen, I'm gonna save as much time as I can. And honestly, I really need food for myself. Like I don't really need food for the family. And ta-da, isn't it magical? Like how it just shows up. I love it here. <laughs> you guys, guess what? My freaking dishwasher is broken. It won't drain. Yeah, but I'm starting to think maybe there's something wrong with our plumbing because we're also having issues with the washer draining. Like we have to, we've been having to reset the washer in order to get the washer to drain. And now the, Dishwasher's doing the same thing. Um, let me show you. So I've done like a number of things to try to get that to drain. Like there is water. See, there's 
<laughs> there's water in there. Which means I now need to wash these dishes by hand. Like seriously, it's 2023. Why am I washing dishes by hand? <sighs> All right, so quick grocery haul. Burgers, stuffed mushrooms, pickles, chicken. Um, What is this called? This stuff. Um, cucumbers, watermelon, coffee, coffee, coffee. And this was supposed to be like a big, huge, huge salmon, but they got this instead, which means that I'll probably have to go buy more. More garlic powder, pineapples. That's it. And then mixed greens, baby spinach and arugula, and fake LaCroix. Why do I have fake LaCroix? This is supposed to be LaCroix. Oh, Lordy. Okay, and more mineral water. All right, so we've got all of these dishes washed. I feel like I should get a big thumbs up on this video because that was a lot. And I'm not about to sit here and dry them. Maybe later, but right now I need to run out. All right guys, so I just did a thing. I just signed up for monthly car washes because it is ridiculous. Ridiculous like as to how filthy my car is. I do home help, so a lot of times I'm on like really dirty, muddy, dusty roads. So it's something I've wanted to do for a while, but I always felt guilty because my brother has a detailing business, but my brother lives like 30, 35, 40 minutes away from me. And in order to, because I use my car for work, like I just feel bad, like sometimes he will come up on the weekend and just do all of our cars, but I feel bad like asking him to work when he's not working in order to convenience my life. You know what I'm saying? Like that just doesn't feel good to me. So I'm just gonna do this and then occasionally he could do a deep detail because my car, it makes no sense. We're gonna do better. Also, um, for my budget queens out there, it costs $50 per month and you can come once per day. I probably won't do that. My goal is to come weekly, so that makes it, you know, still worth it for me. And they do the inside and the outside, so that's pretty cool. Hi, this is Felicia, the home health physical therapist. How are you? All right, guys, so there is no reason why I can't, like, just come here maybe after work or something and get my car taken care of because it's not that bad. Like, it's really clean, the bathrooms are nice. I can just come in here like maybe a Friday or Thursday. Somehow, I'll choose a day and I'll just make it my weekly thing that I do. I'm currently sitting here going over my to-do list. I did get the opportunity to call my patients um, while I was in the car waiting. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go through this list real quick and see what all, if there's anything I can get done while I'm, while I'm sitting here waiting. All right guys, so I just got back, it is, Today is really getting away from me. It's currently 5.41. I haven't meal prepped, I haven't done any of that. And I was gonna give the dog a bath, but it's cold, like Florida cold. It's cold for us. And I don't want to give him a bath and then, it's just too cold, cause I also need to walk. So what I'm gonna do is, I looked at the forecast for the week and it should be warming up like around Tuesday, Wednesday. So I think I'm gonna move his bath to either Tuesday or Wednesday. And again, another thing I love about Google Calendar is that I could just go in and just change the date and then it will move it right on over. Got a new leash while I was out cause the current leash husband has been doing such an amazing job at training him like how to walk on the leash so he doesn't pull from me but this is what has happened like over time and it's nothing against the the maker of this it's just that my husband keeps it like keeps him on a short leash like this and just over time wear and tear I mean the dog walks four miles sometimes so I replaced it with this one and then also you guys have seen me share before about this brand body prescriptions like their scrubs body scrub love the brand so much but i saw this one today that says no bad days i just felt like <sighs> a little pick me up i love that they all they have these like beautiful quotes on them so i will be using this one tonight the last one i had is not completely empty it's like almost empty but i still want to try this one smells so good citrus and vitamin c scrub and i have not tried this brand but same container and i wanted to do a little bit of research to see this is by clinical works to see like if they're the same company or made by sister companies but this one it says infused with collagen citrus and mint um i got this because it was on clearance at marshall's for 450 this one was 5.99 at marshall's 
looks very similar it doesn't smell as good though <laughs> i got jip maybe that's why it was on clearance but same texture like so i just want to do a little research and see if they're the same company or not anyways yeah and i haven't eaten i just thought about that too i've currently been fasting for 20 hours and i'm really not hungry honestly but i feel like i should probably eat something but the truth of the matter is that that is one thing with intermittent fasting is that there is such thing as like appetite correction and like some days i eat more than i eat on other days i don't know maybe i'll start meal prepping and see what happens from there so since it was getting so late and i started meal prepping like as late as i did what i basically did was just meal prep a few proteins that is definitely my hack. If you can at least meal prep a few proteins, you can figure everything else out pretty easily throughout the week. I also like to take some time over the weekend to restock my therapy bag. I carry a lot of stuff, but I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy making my treatment sessions fun for my patients. Maybe in the future, I'll do a full bag tour on like what's in my therapy bag. But I was just restocking, cleaning everything, making sure everything was good and ready for the week. Also, I was cleaning out my other work bag. I'm a pack rat. All right, and I decided to go ahead and make today an OMAD day. So this is what I'll be having. Um, cucumbers, salmon, potatoes, strawberries, pineapple, some type of salami meat, and cheese. Currently 21 hours, 20 minutes. So go ahead and hit in fast. And I'm gonna finish the other half of this, which was in the refrigerator. All right, so I'll take the first bite with you guys here, and then I'm actually gonna go sit down and eat. Really good. It's 6.47, and I don't think I'm gonna get all 10,000 steps today, which I'm just giving myself a little bit of grace. Honestly, I am. Currently at 4,653 steps. I walk the dog for a little bit. I'm okay. I'm just giving myself some grace. I'm gonna go eat a little bit and drink more water. Good morning, guys. So it is Monday morning, March 20th. Oh my gosh, I feel I feel so much better. Oh my goodness, I got some good sleep. So I'm actually just sitting here going through my to-do list from yesterday to see what all I got done because I actually fell asleep like on the couch. It was one of those type of nights. Um, let's flip it around real quickly. Okay, so for yesterday, I did not get my 10,000 steps. I'll just leave that because it pops up every day. Um, so I'm gonna move, bathe, <laughs> like, the dog and clean my office. And I still did not fold my laundry. To be quite honest, the laundry probably won't be folded until Wednesday. So I'll move that task to Wednesday. Update my wellness planner. I'm doing that like right now as we speak. And then wash the dog's linen. So I'm probably going to move, wash the dog's linen and bathe him to Wednesday. So I'm really enjoying Google Task more so than my planner because of, you know, the simplicity of it. All right guys, so I weighed in this morning and today I weighed in. I'll put the numbers here. Pretty impressive for me um 225.6 yes oh my gosh so so that is a loss of 2.4 pounds like from yesterday's weigh-in and i do feel more like myself again like i like i'm not sure in my sharing like if i'm being clear in that like the 11 pound weight gain, it was not like a, I fell off the horse and like lost my weight on my weight loss journey. It, was, it wasn't that at all. What I'm really trying to illustrate is that different people's bodies respond differently to different circumstances. And I am the type of person where when I'm stressed or if I'm going through hard times, like I tend to hold weight. Um, that is what I'm trying to share in this video and like just sharing like as I'm coming back down and like regaining myself and restoring myself and you know people tend to ask me like are you happy all the time like are you always happy I would say that I live in a state of happiness but sad moments happen like I don't feel like I'm an angry person like I don't really get angry but sometimes sometimes bad things happen in life and they make me sad and I would prefer, I mean, wouldn't most people, I don't know, like I would prefer to live every day happy, but this is a human experience. And sometimes it seems like that's impossible, but I do live in a state of 
joy. That's what I will call it, joy. Um, so yeah, I'm about to make some coffee and start filming for Monday. So you guys, don't forget, come back tomorrow. Let's see what tomorrow's weigh-in looks like. Um, my goal, I don't usually set goals on weight loss, but my goal for this week is to shed at least five of these pounds. And then I feel like over the next two to three weeks, I'll be back to where I was before. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Like, wow, that's so crazy to say. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.